Jeff, I'm going to start with Swindon from the weekend and not so good news from Swindon with uh, Jamie Sendall's white for the season with a ruptured ACL plus other damage. Nobody wants to wear stuff like that, do they? No, and, and you know, when it happened, um, you know, I, I remember shouting out, you know, we, I think we, we, on the transition, we got the ball turned over and, you know, I'm screaming at me, me players, uh, get a ball, kick it out, make sure to kick it out. Um, a centre half, when a centre half goes down, Usually, um, there's, there's, you could just tell with his reaction that there was something up, and I, and I think you know players understand that maybe something untoward's happened in the knee. Uh, and it was just an innocuous challenge. I know Zelly apologised after, and he, he was quite concerned uh, yesterday when I spoke to Zell when he'd found out what had happened to the to the kid. Uh, but no one wants to see that, and, and you know, luckily I think medicine's moved on that far, and and surgery's moved on that far, and these guys are just. Incredible, you know, the surgeons and the specialists are that good. You know, that a few years ago that, that injury would keep you out. Um, I know a lot of lads who's had really horrendous injuries and, and come back stronger and better, you know, from, from an injury recovery. So it's never great news, but you know, if you look at it in a positive way, a lot of players who's come back from that injury almost become rebuilt and, and, and forge fantastic careers for himself. Even though you've won the game, do you still get the video, dissect it, show it to the lads, and look at things where you know you, you can learn from? Without doubt, you know the the uh, the analysis to anything, as long as you don't paralyse the analysis, is really important. Uh, if we come up, you know, against that again, I went watching uh, Scunthorpe last night, uh, Scunthorpe and Charlton over at Scunthorpe, and uh, you know these these little things that we've seen over there that we might be able to implement, but certainly you know in the car. Um, you know, over to the game and then back. Uh, you know, you got two and a half hours, five hours there of time that you can you can really drum into what could we have done differently in our second half. And these things we've gone through, you know, as a staff. But um, you've then got to put it to bed and and uh, you know concentrate on, on on the next the next game, the next training session, and and obviously the next project, which is uh, Chesterfield. Hello, Mel. Has been scoring from every angle, every distance this week in training. His confidence must be flying. Oh, he's fantastic. You know, he's um, he worked really hard for for the opportunity to, you know, stick stick with, uh, you know, the the Bury project and and us. And um, he had opportunity in the summer to to go, and uh, he stuck at it. I think having a different dynamic in a different dressing room, um, you know, and a changing room that is different to last season. Um, he, he's now feeling. As though he's got real support within that dressing room, as well as, as support, you know, through uh, the staff and, and myself. So um, it, it's playing games gives you that, and obviously, you know, going to Carlisle was a was a huge factor in him probably deciding what he wants to do, you know. And uh, he had a he had a great environment here, um, possibly not, you know, the best dressing room to work in last season. You know, but certainly this season he's, he's thriving in that and in and around the dressing room, in and off the pitch, um, and certainly on the on the training ground. Yeah, we've seen a different Hallam. Does it give you a problem now? Do you put James Vaughan straight back on? Do you keep Hallam open? Is it a bit of a problem? You've got to. I've got to assess the situation. I've got to uh, you know assess training this week, and uh, you know make a decision based on uh, we've done our work on an intel on Chesterfield. We know where we can hurt them and how we can hurt them. And um, we've got quite a few players coming back that are going to cause me an issue and a problem. I think uh, I never have a problem making, you know, an emotional decision. It's never an emotional decision. It's never a personal one. It's always a professional wrong. I'll get the professional wrongs wrong. I've done it in the past and I'll do it in the future. But at the time that I make a decision, it's based on trying to get a win for Bury Football Club and trying to get um, three points for, for, the, for the team. Is it a good problem to have? Always, always, you know, especially with the window closing. But there was quite a lot of managers there last night, and uh, it was it was funny, you know, talking about the window closing and, and how that's uh, changed the dynamic, you know. And I was, it, it, it's, it's been fantastic for us because you know we are working with a group and we get on the training ground. It's what we do. We we uh, we coach and we we try and coach a team to win football matches, and um, you know. The agents haven't been as uh, ferocious and, and and on the phone all the time, 24/7. He's, he's put them back in the box for a little bit because obviously they can't do any business. Uh, but I think from a coaching aspect, if you've really 
detailed into it and you know you want to get the physical stats right and you want to get your technical stats right and then your tactical you know awareness then then it's, it is important that now the wind is shut that we do concentrate on on the grass and focus on the group of players and, and making sure we can potentially minimize injuries and, and get as many of them players I, I've said before about Craig Jones and you know Craig he has had his injury problems at the club and that's hampered his, his, his improvement on the pitch but you know, towards the end of last season, I had Craig Jones on the on the training ground more than more than I've ever had him. You know, you could see his performances, uh, you know, improve from that, and, it, and it's been the same this season. So, uh, the players fully aware that they've got to make training sessions to, you know, to have a chance of starting in the first team and getting in the squad.